morning, <laughs> or afternoon, whatever it is. It's piling up. It's day five. Weather's got us a little socked in here. Got snow. Well, it started out as rain. Now it's snow. So we're just hanging out under the tarp in the tent and need some breakfast and probably clean up a little bit. Maybe work on a sheep a little bit. And then uh, hopefully this stuff will pass and we can pack up camp and move closer to an airstrip. Make fast out of this. Kevin's sheep out of here. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot, all the weeds that they grew are never ending. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate while your hands getting stained. Transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath for the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck. God only We're packing up camp here. This was a nice, nice camp spot. Well, we've got the packs loaded, loaded heavy, full of sheep, full of camp. And we are moving that way. <laughs> you all right, Kev? Good day. Late start, but packing a ram out doesn't get any better than that. It's uh, evening of day five. We got camp set up once again. Picked a good little valley here. Got a good view out that way. As well as it's a little fogged in over there, but it's a good view out there too. Got some snow in the mountains. A little bit down here with us. We're gonna Cook up a warm meal and call it an evening. How's that for a view? Finally don't have a cloud in the sky. We're uh, gonna pack up camp. <clears throat> Head around this corner. There's the airstrip down there. Hopefully there'll be an airplane coming about uh, early afternoon to pick up my ram. <clears throat> and uh, bring us a couple other small things, but losing the, the meat in the head will be a, a big win for us. So it's gonna be a airstrip down in the river bottom. Hopefully we don't have to do too much work. Get the airplane here. So hopefully we can find Chase a big ram, lighten our load and keep going. So a cup of coffee and some breakfast this morning and these views just are unreal.
I dumped the ram off with the pilot and he brought us some supplies for the next couple of days. See him on his way. So that's not the way to see this guy. Back up and running. <sighs> Looking for a ram for chase. So pretty cool seeing the Super Cub land and how it all runs. So hopefully we'll be seeing it again with another big ram. Well, it's afternoon of day six. We just had a pretty cool drop come in. They came and picked up Kevin's ram. And they dropped us some goodies, some cookies, and pie, and all kinds of good stuff. And we've got camp set up for the evening on the Arctic Red River. Glass and a bunch of mountains for sheep. We've got caribou tracks, and we've got some wolf tracks right here in the river bottom. So there's been a lot of movement through here. We're just gonna take it easy this evening. We can glass a lot of country from our camp right up above me there. Might make a move tomorrow closer to some sheep. No, still fine. Another great day though. What do you think? We're gonna get out of the tent for a minute? I'm gonna try to. Uh, it's not bad out there. Well, no, I mean, just the wind. If you, yeah, the wind, the fire, I got the fire going again. And, oh, nice. Um, it, but it's lifting real fast. Like, just in the last 10 minutes, things are busting up to the north here, so. Okay. Um, it's, it's looking better. Got some sun shining. That's a good thing. Hot breakfast. Hot fire. Warm sunshine. Down here trying to glass white sheep on a white mountain. No sun. Watching this ram all the way over there. We're gonna pick up camp and move it to one of these points out here. The other four rams went up that canyon. And this one ram we've been watching is right there on top. Kind of rolled over. So we're gonna pack up camp real quick, hopefully. got camp moved closer to these rams but we haven't been able to see them saw porcupine one small ram right here above camp but we're uh, 
drying some boots out, having a fire, watching the awesome sunset, planning on hiking up here in the morning. We're uh, just hanging out this evening. Gonna try to do a little more glassing for some sheep we found yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy a hot meal and do some glassing. Maybe turn something up here at the end of the day. Well, it's um, September 3rd. I think we're on hunt day eight now, I think. And we had the probably nicest morning we've had all hunt, so hopefully we have a good day of full hunting and catch up to another round. Just warming up my boots. Finish my granola. Coffee. I'm going to wake up the boys right now. Hey right, boys. We got a fire out here waiting for some bodies to warm up. I got water ready too, so. Woke up, Andrew had a fire going already. That was nice. Packed our bags to head up this mountain. And uh, Andrew found a ram over here and as I was packing up there was four caribou coming down the river so it's looking like a good day our plan is to make a hike to one of these big peaks over here and look into some cuts where we saw rams disappear two days ago Almost to the top. Big sheep lick over here. We've been watching a bunch of sheep go through. Uh, another group. Two possible shooters. Two rams we want to get a closer look at. But we're almost there. Been a great morning. Great weather. Hopefully it holds up. These rams are about a thousand yards across the canyon. Got there, Kevin. Academia F bomb. Some honey from the airport. Some jelly from a restaurant. And a piece of flatbread. And it's delicious. It's 
uh, about 11 p.m. Been a good day. Nope. Saw 11 rams today. Five, uh, five caribou bulls. Five caribou bulls and then... One ram that looked really heavy from four or five miles away. And got to see him at a thousand yards for several hours. Sure enough, he was heavy, but he was, uh, he's only a eight-year-old, maybe nine-year-old, so not quite what we're looking for. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the forecast was right. We got uh, some pretty bad weather right now coming in from the north of us. Base camp is uh, snowed in, can't see very far, so we're not gonna get our second half restock of supplies um, as of now. Might break at noon, so we uh, just got out the spotter and spotted three rams. One looks like it's a longhorn ram, but now we can't see them, and it's starting to rain and snow, so we're just gonna hang out for a while, ride it out, and see if, uh, if we can get some better weather. See ya. strip right here and it would be easy to get them out so me and Chase patiently pace back and forth look up and look down waiting to see a wolf or a caribou something come strolling down it's 2 p.m. and it's the first time we've seen that it's a beautiful thing We've been cooped up all morning, snow and low clouds, fogged in, wind blowing, raining, all of it. But now we got, oh, we've got some sunlight. It feels good. The sun came out and you can see the sheep lick where all the sheep have been moving to. We've seen a lot of different rams go through there and uh, work that lick and those cliffs and stuff. So Andrew's calling Tavis right now, see if we can get our second round of supplies dropped off. The runway's right here, down there in the bottom. So hopefully we can get that dropped off and we can start sheep hunting. Um, hopefully these clouds lift here in a little bit and see if those rams are still there also. The plan is, as of now, maybe move camp uh, down a little ways and uh, see if we can get on those ramps. So.
exciting, eh? Yeah, how you Having doing? fun? Oh yeah, lots of fun. And um, I'm gonna send back. This can go wherever. I'm not gonna pack this. this Did you bring the batteries, Kevin? Good luck. Thank you Thank for you. the yeah. stuff. We're gonna move on down to the next spot, to the next point, set up camp again and glass for sheep sh sheep some more. <laughs> We're gonna glass for some more sheep. Chase has got a bit of a garage sale, yard sale going on there. Yeah, I totally look like a hobo. It's a gypsy, the art of red gypsy. <laughs> Caravan's coming through. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna carb load tonight, <clears throat> eat like three meals. <clears throat> Couple soups. Shit a noodle tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's stripping down to his rain pants here. I'm following the guide's lead. What you got? Last up our first bear of the trip. Big old grizzly climbing up the mountain there. Fat belly. Looks like it has small ears. Sometimes it means a big body. <laughs> 